New this morning, one toucan couple is becoming a big hit among visitors at the Nashville Zoo. Davis Nolan introduces us to Ava and Paco and tells us about their colorful personalities. Taco toucans. Many of us in America were introduced to their pictures in the boxes of the cereal Fruit Loops, but they're actually native to Central and South America, and the Nashville Zoo has two of them on display with hopes to breed more in the future. We have Ava and Paco. Ava is nine years old. She's our female, and then Paco is our two and a half year old male. So he's our new one. Miss Ava is quite the diva. She loves people. She does a lot of, you know, meet and greets with people because she's just really friendly and really gentle and just really enjoys the attention and just getting to hang out with people. Paco is a teenage boy. Um, he's got a lot of spice right now and he's uh, kind of learning his manners and, um, you know, he's just very energetic. Um, so he's, he's figuring everything out. You know, he's got a lot thrown on his plate right now with, you know, new area, meeting a new girlfriend and, uh, you know, just kind of getting used to his new life. So he's, he's a bit of a spicy boy, but we love him. And like many couples, they had to be introduced to each other. We took them off exhibit to introduce them in kind of a more controlled, neutral environment. Um, you know, it took about five days of them, you know, kind of doing slow introductions, um, which, you know, with two cans, they aren't just going to fall in love right away. It's, you know, it takes some time. So they do a lot of what's called bill sparring, which you'll see them do on exhibit still, where basically they're just slapping beaks together. I and mean, it looks kind of aggressive, but it's, you know, it is a play behavior. It's also a courtship behavior. The male has to show the female that he is worthy of her attention. You know, he's got to show her that he is strong and a good healthy mate for her. And it does, you know, eventually turn into more of a playful uh, interaction. But at first it can be pretty aggressive as they're kind of showing each other who's boss. <laughs> so who needs to be the boss? You know, it's it can kind of depend. Toucans co-parent when they have chicks and, you know, they do stay with their mate for life. Um, so they, uh, it, Ava, I think, will probably end up being the boss in this relationship, um, especially since she is a little bit older and more experienced. Um, but, you know, they'll, they'll be pretty equal partners. And of course, the goal is to one day have some baby toucans. So we would love to have chicks. Uh, you know, Paco, like I said, is only about two and a half years old and they don't really reach their maturity till they're about three. So he's getting to that point um, where he'll be ready to start breeding. So his birthday is actually right around hers in May. So we'll see about this year. You know, it's not impossible, but it's not likely either. It's more likely going to be the year after that we'll really be able to expect hopefully some chicks. So the next time you're at the Nashville Zoo, head over to the Critter Encounters exhibit and say hi to Ava and Paco. They'll be glad to see you. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2. And there's a whole lot more that's new at the zoo. Check out our Zoo Palooza stories on WKRN.com. Just click the News tab and search Nashville Zoo.